a quick video about what's good and bad in this Pavilion laptop. This is a um, 15 inch uh, 4 core i7 865U, something like that. Um, I, know, I got crazy, 8, 8550U. Uh, um, so the good is this laptop came from the factory with dual channel memory and that's very very good because it's very usual in uh, ship laptops to, sh to ship with a, a single slot only uh, and you would have the second slot uh, missing entirely so you don't get you cannot ever get dual channel or it's just empty uh, which is then fixable but it's still very bad by default and you have a dual fan which is also awesome um, so this machine uh, has a very good cooling performance uh, it actually has a dedicated GPU it's, uh, it's a slow MX150 but you can still play some games like Fortnite on this um, the very bad is the battery it died after just 4 years of use so it, has, it died uh, in 2022 after it was manufactured in 2018 so uh, that's a very short life for a battery and it's been dead for 6 months and the, the guy finally decided to replace it and the, the Wi-Fi has only one antenna and yeah this is very very terrible it's so so cheap for for them to add maybe it's one dollar two dollar for a Wi-Fi antenna and it's just awful to have such a like small cost-saving measure that has a, such a huge impact on Wi-Fi quality the SSD is NVMe it's a very cheap one RAMless you can see it's I would say it's fine for home usage and it's 500 gigabyte and the overall quality the fact that you can just uh, access everything by removing uh, those five screws even if, even if those are hidden it's also it's also very nice so we have uh, two downsides and four upsides and that's make for a very good laptop compared to like Asus that are only downsides you never never buy Asus laptops please don't do that never it's they, they're awful HP Pavilion this one seems very fine thanks for watching bye bye